Welcome back, part 12, Blender Anime Character Modeling Tutorial Series for Day 1, Introduction to the Software and Modeling. Introduction, game time for amateurs. I hope you are well rested and caffeinated. I hope you've been doing some push-ups. Ah, you're ready to jump into it, okay? Here we go. What we want to do is we want to build out this bottom eyelash. Okay, so we'll come in here with face selected in edit mode and our head mesh, the layer of our head mesh. We're gonna select this one. If we can, where are you at? There you are. Okay, and then we're going to shift click this one. Nope, not that one. Here, if you're having trouble selecting it, like I was doing right there, go in solid mode. And now that's the only option we got. Now we can kick back into wireframe mode. So let's go into front view. And we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did with the uh, the top brow. You remember? Do you remember the process? First, uh, before we do anything, let me turn the screencast keys on so you can see what I'm doing. Then we're gonna go Shift D. Okay, something weird happens right there. Hey now, okay, all right, and we'll deal with that in a second. We're going to just enter that into space, and then when I hit P. And that creates a separate selection with P as in Papa. We're going to click a separate selection. And we see it up here, right here. Head mesh. But we don't want to call this head mesh 001. We want to call it, let's call it lower brow. Okay. Now, this eyelash up here and this lower brow, we want these to be the same thing. Um, on the same layer. Okay. Does that make sense? So, we can... Come over here and in object mode we can select this and then we can shift select the brow that brow right there oh we got reference image select as well so we don't want that we just want to hit the brow and then we want to hit uh we can control click the eyelash and they're both selected right there now this we all want on the same layer okay and we do that with control j and that joins them and now see how they're all that same color orange right there it's like a well it's like a gatorade citrus cooler that's kind of the color okay and it's all in the eyelash layer now let's throw this under uh, in our subdivision modifier let's throw this under simple okay right now it's under camel clark but we want some simple geometry up in here you know? so we're just going to click simple and now we can see we got something meshed up over here Holy moly. Okay, that's fine. We'll fix this right now. So let's come over into edit mode. And then let's click into vertex mode. And let's see what let's just see what this is. Okay. Over here. And maybe we just bring this up a little bit and see what happens. Okay, brought that up. Great. Let's go back into uh edit Okay, so these clearly aren't on the same level. Maybe we'll bring these up like that. And then maybe bring this one up and over. It's just just to kind of get them on the same level, right? We're going to uh, bring them way in anyway, because look, this is what we're going to be creating this eyelash over here. But before we do that, we really want to kind of make sure that the geometry is, you know, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. And, it, and it, it, it's fine if it's not, but we want it to be um, well as as good as it, as close as it can be before we start, if that makes sense, okay? And then let's hit, uh, oh, excuse me. And then, okay, then uh, we hit L click, remember, because L is a, is a link. So anytime we want to mess with everything a vertex is linked to, you just hit L and then uh, the whole thing. If a vertex is touching an edge loop, it selects it. If it's touching a face, it selects it whole, whole nine. Okay, so link, link is your friend when you're trying to select uh, a group of geometry that is connected to a vertex or a group of vertices. Okay, so this looks a little oblong and that's, that's okay. Maybe we bring this in a little bit. 
Okay, and I'm all I did to get into this view. Remember, we just hit numpad seven. Okay, and that takes us to uh, the top view, top view, aerial view. So if this is too complicated for you to see, if this is too much of a spider web, just hide the head mesh. Okay, and it just really kind of simplifies your view. So now we only see that bottom brow. So let's click, uh, kick over into one, which is uh, front view. And then let's line this up and let's start building out the lower part of eyebrow. So I just selected both of these. I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna select both of these. I'm gonna bring this over. And then I'm gonna select these two and I'm gonna bring these in like this. Then I'm gonna select all of them, extrude up that grab these pull this over and maybe bring these two down a little bit maybe like this got the back to the future theme song in my head like a freaking earworm I'm not complaining because Robert Zemeckis is the man um, okay and once we have that like that uh, we can kick it over from simple into Catmull Clark and now we'll see our form right and that's that's not bad y'all maybe we want to bring this over a little bit like that maybe bring this down and, and all you're doing now is shaping it up right simple as that and you just kind of I mean it's kind of honestly it's kind of like a paint by number it's like model by number you know it really is a template okay which is kind of cool okay so let's see how this looks in real life. Not too shabby right there. Moment of truth. Let's see how it looks with the head mesh. Okay. And it's kind of up over here. Okay. Well, let's see how this looks like that. And okay. Might need to pull this eye up. So let's select that mesh layer over here in object mode and then switch over to edit mode grab some proportional editing and bring no nope, don't want to do that let's go like this select the face there we go and now pull that up that okay I'm okay with that and then let's kick it over to that go here maybe bring this down a little bit okay all right now let's select this eyelash here but we need to select it in edit mode these how's this look like that that's okay turn proportional editing off maybe bring this over like that and then this side as well uh, maybe just these maybe rotate these a tiny bit and bring it up like that okay how's that look not too bad okay bottom of the eyelash starting to come to life maybe this might need to come out a little bit to be honest with you so let's just hit L to select the whole thing and bring it out on the y-axis let's kick that in the side view yeah see that's gonna be here okay Probably out a little too far just yet. So if look, if you look at this inside view, we're definitely going to have to come back and kind of tailor this. You know, this uh, eyebrow is also not uh, as as conformed to the head as it needs to be. The side of these lashes, but for right now, let's let's get it set uh, in front view, and then we'll take care of business on the side view. So we need to add these little uh, the actual lash 
the lash is onto the lash. So let's control R and create two edge loops. Excuse me, edge loop, mea culpa, mea culpa, loop cut, loop cut, loop cut. Control R is loop cut. Bring these over like that. Same thing, like that, and like that, like that, and then one more right in between, just like that. Okay, so now let's select these faces, one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do the exact same thing down here as we did up here. Do you remember the process? We go face, extrude, individual face. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Look at it going all in these directions. It's nuts. You want to escape out of that because it's nuts. And if you're having issues with the geometry, come over here into simple mode. And it just makes it way cleaner. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Okay. So if this happens, then you're going to have some issues. So in front view, I went to select the front. But because I'm in wireframe mode, it actually selected the back. So this is, again, hey, uh, learning opportunity. Okay. Uh, teachable moment. So you really want to make sure that we select the front of these faces. Not the edge down here, but the front. And if it's an issue, then just come and select them in. Here, hang on. There we go. Let me get rid of that. One, two, three, four, in wireframe mode. Okay. So now the front of my lash is selected. To extrude along individual faces, push these back, push these forward. Let's see how they look. Whoa, way forward. That's wild. So let's pull these in along the axis. Even that's kind of crazy. Look at this. Would you look at that? So let's extrude faces, extrude individual faces. Okay, not that way, like that way. Great. Mm, we'll call it that. And now we want to transform the pivot point. We want to change the pivot point from the active element where it is now to the individual origins. Okay. And then when we scale these, they all scale individually, which is really kind of cool. Okay. Like that. And then we can pull these out a little bit more. And then we can scale them. And then if we kick over in the front view, we can just bring them down like that. And look at that. There we go. Bring that down. Maybe bring that over. Maybe bring that down. Not too shabby. Okay. So there's the start of that lower brow. And this looks a little low right here. So I'm going to bring uh, active element back. I'm going to bring this up like that. And this too. This and this. I'm bring these over. Like there you go. Like that one. Let me bring that down a little bit. Bring that down a little bit. Bring that down a little bit. Just like that. Nice. Okay. So maybe kick it back into face mode and then let's try and match these up okay so let's bring this over here like that like that bring this one over here like that bring this one down here and this one over here and then uh, let's kick it over from simple back to Catmull Clark and let's add some loop cuts like we did last time with Control R. We don't want them like that. We want them like that. And that just kind of adds a little bit more bend in the uh, in the in the eyelash. Do you see what this is? See now you kind of have some bend to it. It's gonna be like that. And then we're gonna do the same over here with Control R. Like that. Kick that there. Kick that over. Control R. Control it like that. Like that. Oh, 
excuse me, I don't like that. Just undo that and then do it again. Okay, like that, like that. Not bad from the front. Not bad from the front. Super, super important to specify from the front. Because from the side, this is still a little bit whacked. But not too bad from the front. Okay? This is coming along. Hey, save your work. Okay? Save our work. Okay? How does this look? How does this look in wireframe mode? Let's see. Not bad. Not bad. And how does it look? This could come up a tiny bit. You know what? Maybe like maybe this part can just scale up a little bit, just a little bit. Like that. Okay, probably should have scale on the Z axis. So let's scale Z. There we go. Just a little a little plumper. Okay? We're not, we're not too worried about the back yet. Again, this is, you know, we're gonna fill an eye in here. So we got, there. there's some, some touch up that still needs to be done. Switch over in object mode. And not bad, control S, save your work. Okay, um, you know what? I feel like we're ready to start the eye, but that's probably, that, that's its own video in and of itself, so. How about we call it right there, and we fin we we finish the eyelash. All the hair on the face uh, is done, and we are ready to start the eye. In the next video, we are going to build the eye. So, get up, do push up, do bend, do a back bend. Is my ear? Where's my ear? Here's my ear. Okay. Whew. Holy moly! I couldn't see it for a sec. There we go. Um. So get up. Get a stretch, get some, I'm get some water, get some caffeine, and we're gonna jump right back into it with the Blender character model tutorial in the style of anime for beginners, for the beginners. Beginner, beginner series, okay? And uh, we'll see you in the next one.